G'day, Pete Techman Coman here at ISC 2020 in Amsterdam, and I'm on the X10 stand with Sahil Dingra. Welcome, Sahil. How are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Very well, very well. It's great. It's the last day of the show, the so day, it's, yep. and the last day of the show in Amsterdam. Amsterdam yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so everyone's looking forward to Barcelona. I think next so. Year. I yeah. think so. Hopefully, the weather's going to be a little bit better because normally <laughs> the weather's not that great in Amsterdam. Oh, yeah. Let's face oh, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. No, no, <laughs> but. Uh, for those who have uh, followed us uh, previously and uh, saw our content at, at Infocom, you may have seen the X10 product, which I was raving about. Uh, fantastic product. If you're not aware of it, Sahil, please tell us a little bit more about what your product actually does. Definitely. So, you know, there's not a lot of software companies in the AV world. Sure. Um, there's only a handful. And basically any AV design software that you have in the market, they're basically replacing pen and paper for you with a screen and a mouse. There's still a lot of work to be done, There's right? A lot yeah, of yeah, work. yeah. So we are the first and only company in the world who gives you end-to-end -end AV design solutions. So we basically take your requirements and then give you automated documentation, including all of these line schematics, rack elevations, cable schedule. Um, ceiling speaker layout, scope of work, proposal, signal flow diagram, all these seven So it's all automated? All automated. Right. We have our AI algorithms and it just generates everything for right. you. We have put a lot of hard work in this and we are the pioneers of this technology. We yep. have a patent spending for this. Yep. So, so when I saw it at Infocom, I was blown away. Not only myself, but there were thousands of people that came to your stand and were so excited about, about your software yeah. and what it can do. So for those that aren't aware of it, can you just do a bit of a demo for us and let us know or show us what it actually does? Yeah, so I could quickly do a few things for you. Um, so basically what we see on the screen right now is the documentation that's generated automatically without much of a manual effort. Um, so I'll show you how these documents look like. So if you could see this line schematics, this has been generated automatically just getting requirements from the user. And it's really, really quick. And how does it get those requirements, though? So there's a couple of ways. I'm glad you asked. So there's basically, we have some templates. These are the templates, but that does not mean that you only have to work with these templates. Right. You could do so much more. That's just the baseline. So we pick a meeting room? So there's three ways of making a design. Right. First is a guided questionnaire. So it's basically split in four different sections, general, video, audio, and control. Um, each section has some questions. We're trying to get your requirements and filtering down product options for you um, based, based on what you're trying to do and your specs. We give you the, the option of your products based on your preferred brands. Right. And you keep selecting the products and then by the end of the four sections, you have your complete bill of material. Okay. And you just hit one button, generate design, and the documentation it's all done. I showed you, it's wow. all done. It's wow. a matter of, what, 10 minutes, yeah. maybe, max, yeah. tops. So that's the first way, the questionnaire. Yes. Uh, the second one we just launched, XDRAW. That so you didn't have this at Infocom? No, we right, didn't Right, so this is a new Infocom. feature. Right, no. okay. So XDRAW is basically, it's very flexible. So the questionnaire, you kind of have to work with the templates. Yep. It's very guided, yes. to restricted. But something. I suppose if someone who was relatively new to the industry, yeah. it would be uh, more applicable, right? So oh, they, yeah. you, they just tick a box. Totally, right. yeah. If okay. you're not from AV background, you're getting started, it's yeah. a great learning tool. In yeah. fact, Many of the people in our team, in our company, yes. learned the AV part right. by through, using through our own software. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, and now you've got Xtra. So Xtra is basically very, very flexible. Yeah. You, it could be used across any verticals. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you just on our portal, we have a uh, database of more than half a million products. Yes. Um, half then, a million. Oh yeah, it's co-powered by AVIQ. Right. And then we okay. have our own tie-ups with manufacturers. Yes. Yeah. And we're constantly adding products. Right. So you search and select products that you need for yep. your design, and then you you open the drawing editor, 
and it gives you logs of everything. So and I'm guessing the database would have to be constantly updated. I mean, like you come to a show like ISC, uh, there's always new products being released, right? Yeah. So yeah. you've got to be on, on top that's of that. Why, that's why we have tie-up with ABIQ and right. then tie our own tie-ups with manufacturers. Right. And we have a dedicated data team who just continuously playing with the data, adding new things right. and uh, just making sure everything's refined and yeah. useful. Wow, okay. So, like I said, extra, you just search in our products and you will get something like this. So, you get blocks of everything, as you can see. Now, the blocks is, you will probably think, ah, oh, there's probably other software, so give you the blocks, yeah. but that's not it. What we do is, First of all, this is very, this drawing tool we have yeah. is very agile. Yeah. So you, and this is all cloud-based? It, it's all cloud-based. Wow. Okay. You don't need to download a thing. Right. You only okay. need a web browser and an internet connection. Yeah, and a license. <laughs> <laughs> you need a license, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, but that's the way things are go software's going these days, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't, like, if you download things on your computer, and then something happens, you lose your computer, yeah. or your computer stops working, yeah. so you lose everything. Yeah, true. Or you yeah. just keep saving local copies, yeah. and, then, and then eventually push it on cloud. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That ends up on the cloud anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, see, how I'll make a connection here. Let's see, I'll connect these two. And I give it a cable ID. Let's say it's D1001. Okay. I did that. Now, this. I'll save this right here. Now, we generate cable schedules, right? Yes. But with extra, the magic happens because there were no cables, yeah. right? Yeah. So there's nothing in the cable schedule. Right. But I just made a cable, gave it a cable ID, and yeah. I'll hit refresh. We got that right. right here. So that's the automation. Okay. Whatever connections we do, it will get popular. And can you put here. a length on that you as well? Yeah. yeah, right here. All oh, right. You can okay, enter yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. So. That and same thing with bill of material. Mm -hmm. So any block you delete from the drawing, yeah. it will get deleted from bill of material. Right. It's very synchronized. Sure. So the reason we came up with extra was people wanted a lot of flexibility. Yes. They were like, no, 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 I want to do what I want to do. I'm like, yeah. sure, go for it. Yeah. So, and then um, another thing we have is, uh, I told, like I said, there's a third way, add your own bomb. Okay. So we have still kept it. This will launch at Infocom. Yeah. But this is very, very extensive. So yeah. we have still kept it. It's very refined now, sure. very enhanced, but we still kept it in beta mode. So that's like a, it's a, like an Excel spreadsheet or something that you upload to you it? You could. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. Um, it works a little similar to Extra, but there are differences. So like I said, you search in ad products, but with add your own bomb, you will tell us how you want the connections to be made. Right. And that's very simple. Okay. So next to some active items like switchers, yep. amplifiers, DSPs, there'll be a tiny button properties. So you click properties and it's gonna open up a form and you have to just scroll and select how you want those things to be connected right. to your switcher. Okay. So, and then we make the connections for yes. you. So yep. that's the quickest way of having it designed. Right. And, and, and what if those connections aren't where you want them to be? Glad you asked. So anything so like I said, this drawing has been generated yeah. automatically. We have our own drawing editing tool. Anything you do not like, you can always change. You can move stuff around. You can delete connections. You can make new connections. You, you can change the color codings of the blocks, of the lines, anything. You can have your own branding. And not only that, you could export it in all these formats, including PDF, right. Visio, and even AutoCAD as a right. DWG file. Okay. Yeah. Well, wow. so we have yeah. some very satisfied customers, and yeah. they say that we actually take off eighty to eighty-five percent work off their shoulders. Right. Yeah. So we are here to empower your designers, so yes. they can do more creative work, yeah. and you can do more and more projects. Yeah. You never have to be like, I don't have enough bandwidth to take on this project. No, now you do. Yeah. And, and what about the symbols that you're using here? How, where are they from? Um, so the symbols here, so we have both. We have right. VIXA symbols, okay. and then we have our own extra symbols. Most of them might be pretty similar. Yes. And uh, so there's a whole library. You could just drag and drop anything mm -hmm. you want. There's, there's a VIXA symbol. Right. Yeah. And um, there's a couple more new features that we came out. Uh, we launched over 200 currencies on our platform oh, that right. you can work with. 
Because I think so, when, when we last caught up in uh, Orlando at yeah. Infocom, you had US, you only had a couple of currencies. Yeah. I don't even think you had Australian dollars. I, yeah, I think we had just two or three maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you got over 200. 200, yeah. Okay. So, wow. 80, so that's pretty much all of them. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, I yeah. don't think we missed out on anything. Yeah, okay. So, as you can see right here, look. And, and what's the look, purpose of the everything. What's the purpose of the currency? So, it's a global product. Yeah. So, if you're in Australia, yeah. you want to work in Australian dollars. Yes. Someone yeah, yeah. in Nigeria, yes. they want to work in their currency. Yeah. Someone in Colombia, they want in Colombian pesos, whatever. Yeah. And is so, that to work out how much the, the project costs or what, what you're selling it for? You know, so or, everything across the platform. So it, yeah. so it shouldn't look like it's only centered around the US. Yeah. So they will feel like it's their currency there. So, And also another cool thing about adding more currency is, yeah. let's just say you're in Australia, yeah. but you're doing projects for your customers somewhere in South America yes. or anywhere. Yeah. So you can send them proposals in their currency. Right. And not only that, at ISC, we launch six European languages across okay. the platform. So nothing will be in English. You can select, right. um, we've launched Spanish, yes. Portuguese, yep. Italian, yep. French, Dutch, and German. Wow. These okay. six European languages yeah, yeah. That we have on our roadmap adding more and more languages. Yep. Um, and then also another thing we added is uh, multiple user access levels. Right. So now you can have groups in your organization. Yes. You can create users as sales user, technical yes. user, general user, admin, admin. approver, yep. super admin. Yep. It's very, it, so it could be used because uh, we have some bigger clients yep. and they have like hundreds of users. Sure. So they yeah. want to split them out in groups and you know, the roles. So we implemented that as well. Yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, and um, also and, there's there's one more thing I right. forgot to show you. So now, some people used to say that, um, what if I do not find a product on your platform? True. Yeah. I'm doing my drawing. Yeah. Anything custom, user specific, region yeah. specific, what if I don't find it? You yeah. know? Well, we used to ask them, why don't you email us and we'll try to be as quick as possible in yeah. adding that and it could take a day, day and a half, two yes. maybe. Yeah. But the user will like, you know, I want it right now. I'm doing my design right now. Yeah. Like we, we solved that problem. Okay. Now you can add custom items. So that means you can create any product from scratch. Right. Okay. With all the input output information. So you can give it a brand, model number, part number, image link, category, subcategory, uh, pricing. You can add input output information. You can tell what it is. And that automatically creates the it block. automatically creates the right. block in that's, the drawing. That's cool. It will yeah, be yeah. available for you to reuse right away. Yes. And not only that, yeah. it will get saved in your library of products, yeah. as you can see my library, and it will be accessible and visible to everybody in your organization. Yeah. So you can reuse it. Wow. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how cool. we solve that problem. So, so a user would, like if you're starting from scratch, just to summarize, a user would come in, they would open up the software, cloud-based software, mm -hmm. they start selecting, they can either select the products or upload a bill of materials, right. Um, and then it will automatically create the schematics, Correct. right? It'll automatically create a cable schedule. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, it'll do the bill of materials. Correct. Rack layouts. Correct. Does rack layouts as yep, well. So, and you can move all that around. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can show you the rack layouts as well. So like I said, these are all the documents that get created and here's the rack layout. Mm -hmm. Well, we only have three or four sure. equipments here, yeah. uh, but it's depending on the project. I can show you one with the bigger rack layout. Bear with me for a second. There you go. That's okay. a bigger one. So it counts the RUs of the rack and then 
puts blanks, blade, yep. you know, if you need, and it's based on best practices, heavier than the bottom, lighter at the top, yep. um, and then you can modify it. You can adjust the, yeah. the size of the rack? Yeah, so we have our own drawing editing tool, like I mentioned. You can move anything up and down, however you want to do it. So it's very flexible. And nice. Then, um, I, if you I, have, like I said, if you have a yeah. ceiling speaker yes. in your design, yeah. We give you the coverage pattern of that as well. So Excellent. Since we have a room and that's based on the information, the speaker information. Speaker yeah. information, your room dimensions, yes. and Avixa's guidelines. Right. Okay. So it's based on that. And signal flow diagram. Salespeople love this feature. Right. Okay. So they could go to client location and within minutes they could like, okay, let me create this for you. Yeah. Because clients not necessarily understand these systematics. Yes. But yeah. this they do. So our code. Right. Cop crops pictures of actual equipment, yeah. puts them there and draws all these connections. It could take you hour sure. to make by hand. Yeah. And we just never And you can move all that around as well, you can edit thing. that, yeah. Yeah, you can edit all this out. Excellent. Um, what what about um, wall elevation? So you got a screen on the wall and that's what's so uh, that's on our roadmap. Yeah. Um, because whatever we do, we wanna do it right. Yes. We don't wanna launch hundred features sure. all at once, so yeah. but it's on our roadmap. Yeah, Probably. I'm just thinking about all the different types of diagrams and details that we would like to put in our documentation and that would be a, a nice uh, a nice feature to have. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, there's a ton of things on our roadmap. Um, actually, we another thing was we just launched a couple integrations. Yep. So we have Salesforce integration. Right. So you got your customers detailed in your CR, Salesforce yes. CRM. Yep. We can sync that to our platform and you can do your designs wow. uh, for those customers. And also we launched uh, integration with Q360, so, which mm -hmm. is an ERP system. Yep. So you basically start an opportunity in your Q360 environment, it gets exported to our platform, you do your design and documentation, and then your bill of material then gets exported to Q360 and then goes for ordering purposes. Wow, so, yeah, so it's just, amazing. The data flows wow. like that. So, we have more integrations on our roadmap. We have yep. Microsoft Dynamics. We have um, QuickBooks yep. um, and, and a lot more. Nice. So, That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, look, love the software. I loved it when I saw it in uh, Orlando you. at yeah. Infocom six months ago. Yeah. And you've come such a long way in, in that short period of time, we generating have. a lot of interest. So I wish you all the best. But where, if people want to find out some more information about the product, where's the best place to go? Well, just go on our website, x10av.com, okay. and uh, follow our LinkedIn and our YouTube channel. We do webinars regularly. Uh, you can attend that. You don't have to be a customer for that. You can attend our webinar, uh, get to know more about the product. Yep. We sometimes do for new features, sometimes based on just one function, like proposals is, yes. is big. We have enhanced proposal tool now. What you saw at our proposal too back yes. at Infocom. Yep. Oh my God, it's 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 like it's ten improved. times better now. Right. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. It's so much flexible. Cause here's the thing, all the improvements yep. since Infocom in our product yep. are all user feedback driven. Yeah. Cause user feedback is such a crucial thing. Yes. I mean that makes sure that your product is getting improvement continuously. Yeah. Cause they're the people who are actually using it. Yeah, that's right. We can that's add right. Yeah. Functionalities. But if yeah. the user's only using five, what's the point? You must have a long list of features that you want to add. Yeah, <laughs> we do, yeah, yeah. we do. Yeah. We, we get a lot of requests and then we try to accommodate the majority of what's something that everyone's asking and sure. then we prioritize everything. Prioritize it, yeah. yeah, makes sense. Look, fantastic job. Love the software, love the company. Uh, if you want more information, head to x10av.com and I'd suggest that uh, you check it all out.